What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a live 10v10 war for you here in Tribe Gaming, where Tribe Gaming is taking on Hopelessness, which is a team with a bunch of Nova players, guys. So it's gonna be a good matchup. Now this is gonna be a really long video because it's a 10v10, two hour war. So what I did is I broke the video up into two different sections. This first video here is gonna cover most of the live planning where we go over all the bases, talk about them, stuff like that, try to break them down, come up with some good plans for them. So if you guys wanna watch that, definitely watch this video. Then the later part of this video is gonna be the first five or six attacks. And then the second video, which is gonna to be tomorrow's video, is gonna have the rest of the attacks, guys, with some live commentary, see if Tribe Gaming can get the victory against Hopelessness in this 10v10 war today. Hello. Hello. Why is Ori calls Nick? Because <laughs> I like it. I'm streaming, so, just so you guys know. What? You are streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah. all the bad words. Yes. Hello. Say all the bad words. As long as they're in German, it doesn't count. Scheiße. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't expect it to be against a good opponent here. It's actually a tough match. Yeah, this should be fun. Good luck, thanks. I have a plan on number five. Yeah. Five words. Just quickly want to go through all the bases or look at all of them. Wann muss denn der Achter rein, Danny? Uh, one hour twenty. Nice. Oh, after forty minutes. <coughs> I think number six can be done. Uh, number is... one, they just used in the qualifiers, I think. Yeah, it's qualifier base. Yeah, I remember they hit it with Yeti Smash. We were talking they should have done a super wall break on the 80 by the town hall instead of a jump. <coughs> Which base? Number one. one. Uh, somebody Don't tell remember. Itsu we're on this server for voice chat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember if it tripled or not or what, but... Why can I not find this voice chat? Zo. So. There we go. Is it a, is it group yeah. or is it knockout tournament? Uh, no I believe this is a knockout tournament. Uh, I think it's the round of 16. Let me double check. Okay. I might be wrong. Okay. Uh, Tom, you said you had an idea on number five? Yeah. Okay. Who's the leader in my clan, says Justin? Uh, I am. English or German? English. Um, Blim from 6.30 in the single and expo compartment. Um, with a rage. Queen from 7 um, to 8. Hunting at 9 and 10. Warbreak by the cannon in the single compartment. Um, CC comes uh, after the Blimp. Um, King from 12 to 3 and hybrid from <coughs> 11 to 10. And the second wall break by the scatter um, or by the sweeper that my queen goes more. Well, welcome to the stream, Justin. Eagle Why says, you I need to change my thumbnail. Why? Charge on the left side when there's the warden instead of the right side? That's. Well, the video is pretty nice. Yet. Thanks, living fan. Then I go from the other side. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I've just seen. Oh, good. I mean, the blimp could be baited, of course, but. Where are the attacks no. starting? At an hour no. 20, so in when 30 you, minutes. When you even bump Tom Never. Mm -hmm. No. Will yeah. the Yetis get the single inferno with the Royal Champion there? Uh, with a rage, I will come the single compartment. Uh, the, the single compartment, the single and uh, the Royal Champ. And I think. Um, Okay. <coughs> we 
probably make this a YouTube video, yeah. maybe. Sounds good to me. The wall break, I mean the wall is open, but the wall break should target the cannon if the wizard tower is down. Yeah. Yeah. On the tribe lineup we have Hus, Nick, Itsu, Eve Check, oh, Eve Maxi, Tom, TDH, Nicholas, nope. Lexnos, and Elliot. You already decided which base am I gonna hit? No, not yet. So who Nick, who did they attack? Like Nova had this base against who? Against I had no idea. I just remember it was Yeti Smash. I think they only had one match today anyway, didn't they? On number yeah, one? It it was yesterday. I didn't yesterday. watch anything today, yeah. Oh okay. yeah, I Which remember base? seeing this base too. Which, Which base? number? Number one. Nova lost the first match yesterday, didn't they? They used the base today and yesterday. What? They used the base on both days. Okay. Lex isn't the last one in the lineup, yeah, rip. Uh, oh, this Aster is good called. Well, one is called? Uh, Nick, oh. can I, can I, uh, the number nine, can I call the number five, Danny? Yo. Nice. Elliot must have sexy walls. We'll see when they attack him. Are the others going to join voice? Yeah, probably pretty soon. Gold Bomber. Oh, Jan. Hmm? Um, is that pipe bridge number two? Number two? Based on Pranko today was a little different though. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, like on most of the bases, a lot of set value. What would you zap on number One. two? You could like, you could go for the CC, the two expos, and the warden if you want to. All for a set hybrid for the two expos um, and scatter, and then you can go in the nine o'clock compartment to single. Um, yeah, but by the scatter and high pitch um, in the town hall. I don't think that you will get that with only one rage. Like I think you have to zap the warden as well, and the CC, so you can kill the referent tower pretty easily. So this war is for fun? No, it's a in a league match. It actually is a group stage hey, match. Hi. Hello. Yeah, uh, Hello. Danny. It is a group stage match, so it's not an elimination. Okay. Let's hey, go. I found, I found number one in a video no. or in a stream from yesterday, uh, from today. They actually tripled it with Queen Charge Hybrid, but I guess they just put like all the black mines there, so not really. Do I found again. the uh, I found the uh, Yeti Smash plan on it, yeah. but it I'm looking at pretty, it right now as well. Felt pretty hard. Yeah. What number yeah, seven? That, number one. Uh, one. But that plan is still really <laughs> not good. Uh, just yeah. for everybody who joined voice chat, I'm streaming, just so you know. Oh, okay. So don't don't say anything too rascalish. Gotcha. You're a very big fan. Well, you guys want to just What's up? go through the basics. What's up, How you doing? Yeah, probably the best. Right. Uh, yes, I'm one, actually uh, in the war as well. One, you could probably do Keep the same up. Yeti Smash plan, but with Super Witches, and the same wall break on the AD. I can post a timestamp from today, just so you can have a look how it tripled. Um, yeah, or if anyone wants to copy that hybrid. How did they do it? I, let me just quickly check. I'll copy. Uh, I'll post it in the. I just posted in the all WHF chat, like family chat. Okay. It's the same player in the same base, so I doubt they, or I think they, at least change a little bit. Another raid. <coughs> this queen actually walked the wrong way. So. Hmm.
pretty lucky I would triple that. He doesn't have a wall breaker for her. No, he was counting on her stepping in for tunnel. But. Uh, could you do that? Like, have the queen walk the same way, but wall break into the single and funnel at nine? So she can reach the eagle? Yeah. You could also probably zap all of the space. Zap the CCs. To probably the left, right expo and the sweeper. And then sue for the town hall and that scatter. Probably wall out from four. Is there enough value for that zap? I think the sue makes up for it. <coughs> you do you think they could have? really change anything to stop that hybrid? Because I feel like if you do it the same way and just wall break in to the single target Inferno, it's wrecked. If you fancy it, go for it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, next base. <laughs> I think yeah. they probably moved some tests out there so to make the funnel harder at 9. Because that's what probably most people think is if you just get that funnel better, so you can wall break the queen inside the triple. So. But I don't mind if you want to try it. Mm. Good luck. <laughs> she thanks. All right, what about for number two? I think the zap hybrid looks really good. Like when you're zapping the warden, the two expos, mm -hmm. and the castle. Would you want the inferno or the town hall? Um, tower seven mm -hmm. to nine, like into the single front tower, and then king and siege breaks from six to three, hybrid into the town hall. Path and looks pretty solid. <coughs> so, yeah, you don't have any expos on your queen for a really long time. Yeah, I think the opponent I used to be queen, queen into, into the town hall would be <laughs> like better. Or you can't ball break that easily. Yeah, and she won't go in. To the uh, the hole, she'll like wrap around side for the builder hood. Probably, it's so weird. And pathing looks pretty good because there are all of the holes in the in the wall, so your king and your siege break can easily access the base. True. Yeah. Do you want to do that, Jan? Let's see. I could do that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they have a lot of like that uh, base which you can go for. Any other ideas, or can you move to number three? How long is War Day? Uh, two hours? Okay. But there's only like okay. 80 minutes left. <laughs> or 100 minutes left. Um. Number three, I was thinking about something more risky maybe, but still it could work. If you zap like Scatter and the two Expos, kind of in the middle of the base, then you're doing a Queen Charge into the single Inferno Tower at like 4. And then you can like keep going with like as many layers as you want to. And then just like key and siege, siege breaks from 6 to 9 and hybrid in there. The queen is keeping the hybrid on track. And yeah. So one rage enough there for the charge? Mm, yeah. Well, there's not too much damage. So you can, in the beginning, you can freeze the royal champion and the single front all together. Is it one attack yeah, format? Yes. Overall. And yeah. Don't think. I'm not mm. sure if you can stay alive there. <coughs> what should enough. you do? Okay, fair enough. You get the two expos in the middle, but. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream and you like watching, hop on over to Trovo and watch the war over on Trovo. It helps me out a lot. So thank okay, you to everybody who's watching over in Trovo. Love you guys. Good blimp the town hall, charge the eagle, and then Lala from eleven. Yeah. 
Middle scatter shot is pretty hard to access with with the Lalo and the sweeper there. No, you'll have your slammer. You should be able to. You blimp the tunnel, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just see two sieges, easy. Got him. Nico P. I don't know, I was thinking you can do like zaps on the two air expos and CC and then you can charge the eagle uh, with like a uh, heroes. <coughs> We're still uh, in the group stages, Lady B. Maybe use Water Wrecker. You can funnel with Sneaky Gobs if you use Water Wrecker. I think if there wasn't baited entry, then this would be it. I think that's what's really obvious to do there. Yeah. You want to do a sui or a charge actually? Like a water get charged with heroes. That's a sui. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, confused. Like... Okay, yeah. It's a charge. And then Lalo like, in the tunnel? Three or? healers? <laughs> so it's like a kill squad then, or? I like the hybrid ID, but um, without the steps on the number three. What is when you use a couple of loons for the Mercer on mortar. 10, 11, or the mortar goes with the queen from 11 in the single compartment um, funnel at um, 12 to 1. Um, and then can you funnel with king and siege rock from nine to six and five into the town hall and the second layer to the multi i don't know if nice think that the five o'clock entry was the most obvious one the baited one in my opinion the entry yeah, which you just said is the baited one let's try like, both so obvious with the dead zone like yeah hmm what if you don't break the queen in letter let her decide which you want to go because if you break her in, like she's gonna go there anyway. But if you break her in, then she's gonna get targeted by the single inferno and she's gonna die. What? Like for the second layer. Where CG was talking about. He's talking, oh, we're talking about, about different targeting targeting. at 11. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If if you break into the multi, then she's gonna get targeted by the single and she's gonna die. But if he gets there, it's probably enough value. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Don't you think the queen is going to break the wall? Yeah. I mean, you can't wall break into the multi inferno tower that easily anyway, so... Why you can you can break yeah, from... You can, you can break from, like, laboratory between the spell factory and laboratory. Yeah. Yes, but it's not, like, there's a gap in front of the arch tower and the wall, which means it's most likely that the wall break is going to the Dixler storage. I think when when the, the bomb tower is gathered and the gold mine is out, uh, you can break from 11. I don't think so. We all know how shitty the super wall breaker I, I is. <laughs> so, no, you will never ever, like, the wall breaker will never ever see the inside wall. Like, oh boy. I would bet a lot of money on that. <laughs> okay, how much? I think. I don't know how much you have. <laughs> I think it does. Uh, no, it, it's it's not hard to break in. It's just like <coughs> Queen is gonna die. Maybe like I don't know if there's like a lot of three star pins left. That. <laughs> what about just a drag map? Sweepers or this is a regular shit. war. It's a community league war You're in queen TWL at 12, league. The AD King nine to six drags into the town hall, slammer into the single. Do RC on the back end for a wizard tower in AD at like. When his first attack? Uh, seven. Uh, the attacks yeah, start back to back to back in 16 minutes. Probably on the multi and wizard tower, so you can freeze both of them. And you you can also freeze that scatter shot and the wizard tower on the back side, right? Yeah. But you have to probably freeze scatter shot earlier anyway, so. Yeah. Hmm. Should we move Sounds on? Sounds good, actually. Otherwise, just do the charge from 11. I mean, the plan itself looks really OP, so you just need to make sure that you're bringing enough Gokulun. And maybe even have the King Funnel at 12? Or not? 
Or I guess you can see with the Yeti there if it works or not. Yeti and the wizard. Five versus five is ten versus ten. Tommy. Yeti should look good. Because there's like no defense on the right of the air defense, so Queen is probably gonna go make her. Yeah, unless they're like Tesla though, that's only a difficulty. <laughs> so yeah. just charge in at yep. eleven, just one wall break? Or would you bring a second one? Second one in the multi. You can bring a second one, yeah, but also bring like one or two minions for the workshop and the uh, barrack there, so the queen is not doesn't even have a reason to break to the outside. And then just hybrid in from ten o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, it does look good. I know. Okay. The drag bit looks good as well, I think. So we can have both options. Number four. Mm. Number four, I have another zap hybrid idea. If you can, like, you can zap the single, the ground expo, and the scatter above the town hall, and then you can walk your queen from seven ish up to nine. You can find her to the bottom, like with the yeti, to get rid of the archer tower, for example. And then there is no damage at all anymore on your queen, like on the queen. You can try to lure the clan castle, like with the yeti or something, like on the cannon, and already like funnel for the later um, hybrid. Or, like get the clan castle out of the way, and then you can wall break into the mud and Fermentar tower on the back end. There's like no damage at all. Bring a headhunter for the king, and then just hybrid into the town hall with your king uh, walking up from five, and the siege barracks in from three. So the one they were inside, no. and then you have like the hawk riders from three o'clock pushing in. Their hybrid is going through the core. Looks OP. Only thing is you have mm -hmm. to look like how you lose the sea. Yeah, like that's three like or four hawks, which you have seven. to think about. Yeah. But it looks really nice. I have also a normal hybrid plan, but I, I like the zap. Yeah. Could uh, it's probably zap Lava as well. Number five? Four. But yeah. I think the zap hybrid is really simple and nice. Because that's usually something that people don't test. So they're not gonna expect that charge. And you have like no damage on your queen all the way. Yeah, Nick, I think your uh, slammer for the scatter at eight looks really good. But I think that hybrid is very strong. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is you don't get the eagle to like the very end. Hmm. Yeah. But I think when you start. Um... Uh, first the king, and after the king the hybrid, uh, the first eagle goes on the king. Then you use the uh, warden ability, and after that your queen is real strong, I think. She can alive with one headhunter for the king. Um, you don't... It's, it's not a problem, the late eagle. Let's go to number five. Mm -hmm. Uh, I won't play a uh, um, Yeti Blimp Hybrid. Um, blimp at 5.30 over the bomb tower uh, uh, with a rage in the single and expo compartment. I want uh, the CC, the single and the uh, um, ground expo. The stream from um, the PC, goes yes. the queen from 5 um, to 4 funnel at and 3.30 that the queen goes in um, war break by the cannon after uh, the wizard tower um, and then goes in the single compartment king from 12 to 9 and hybrid into town hall and the second war break by the scatter compartment I, I hope it worked but the queen comes the eagle I think it's enough with two heal and three rage Sounds good. Number six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number six, I first thought about that you could do witches there. Because they see it's really that close to the town hall, but then it well, could just absolutely go wrong. <laughs> Single at 12 is a, bit an, a little annoying. <clears throat> but let's say you do one walk at three or at two o'clock. You funnel at 12, probably with a Yeti or something. And then you just two jumps 
first above the cannon at one o'clock. The second jump in the core. So your witches can reach everything. This PV plane, not this there. one. Either on the left or the right side. Talks. Should look pretty good then. Could completely go wrong as well, but well. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 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 sounds good. <laughs> There's like so much damage at the start, so I'm a little hesitant if it works or not. What about a <laughs> Zap Mass Hog? Zap CC, the two ground bows. Sounds and good. Yeah, uh, Wizard Tower, do RC at 10 o'clock to get the funnel. Heroes, two ice golems. Wall Wrecker into the town hall, you get both scatters. And then you basically only have, what, three Wizard Towers and the Eagle left in the base? And two I mean, you can't, can't get the Wizard Tower and only get two Expos? No, you can get everything. What? Can't you? No. Does two zaps in the Earthquake kill a wizard? I no. Don't. I don't know how much wizard tower takes. It's... I think it's three in one quake. So but, that uh, wizard yeah, tower will just barely you, stay alive? If you yeah. see like, eleven, you could start the hogs at, like, one or two. Could you repeat the sui again quickly, sorry? Oh, you would do that yeah. exactly? Do RC on the mortar at, like, ten. That yeah. way should probably kill everything on that side, and then do wall yep. wrecker, probably two ice golems heroes. That one looks pretty easy since you get both scatters and two heroes. How do you do the... Like, how are you gonna funnel the hogs? That they're not gonna go crazy? Funnel the hogs in? Or like, where would you start them at 10 o'clock? No, I'd probably two. starting at 1. 2. Yeah, yeah 1, 2. You're probably gonna get like a really weird split in the middle though. Yeah, but I don't think it matters then. Like if you heal early and then do the warden ability when they split, you're gonna get both bomb towers in the warden. Where do you do RC? GG. At ten for the funnel for the Sui. I mean it looks really strong. And yeah. the final at twelve is easy as well, so Do you have to use the RC for the funnel? I would use it otherwise it's risky that the Queen may go around. Yeah, it helps a lot. And, and you, you could delay really it in a it. way that stays alive, actually, and tank. I mean, if you started the cannon, for example, on the outside, you can send, like, one giant in front if you want to. Probably you don't even have to. Just start at the cannon, it's gonna walk up, and then it's actually gonna join inside as well. Okay. In that case, you don't even have to zap the expo, because... I would zap it still, like zap yeah, it to act as you see. That should be safe for you. Should we move on? Yep. Yeah. Uh, we yep. attack first, by the way, and it starts in like seven minutes. <laughs> Good to know. Go. I think you can do dragons on this one. Which ones? Seven. seven. I don't know how, but I think you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice plan, Hus. Hmm. You can do like, I don't know, queen at, queen, I think queen at 12 and then like slammer on the multi and you can do RC for enemy RC and uh, with an ice golem or maybe a giant and a headhunter. That's, I think that's better. And then um, the king can be used to like funnel the, the dragons maybe at nine o'clock and then zap the sweeper and it's dragons from like 10 o'clock and then you can do bats because there's like no no back and damage except for the eagle there's only one west tower left hmm could you zap all of this zap cc scatter Sweeper, do RC on enemy RC. Start your heroes at seven to walk up to the eagle, get as far as they can, and then start the lava where they die. And uh, blimp the town hall with the sneaky gobs and hound. Yeah, blimp looks really good. I thought about doing this three on the other side. Uh, other side though. Why? I'm getting the queen as well and the scatter shot me. 
No, oh, I wasn't gonna break in. Oh, but you yeah, don't want to break you, him in? Yeah, if you break in, you could, yeah, get the multi queen and the scatter. That looks pretty good, too. Hmm. Like. Because, like, on the bottom side, you actually have, like, more damage heroes. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like sneaky gobs are not that needed because the loons are going to go to the core anyway. You can do Only thing is if they are at 11 or 10 o'clock. So I was actually going to wall break the, like, send the royal champion at, with the ice golem at the archer tower. And then have the heroes with a wall breaker in at like 8.30. So they can walk inside the channel. But yeah, the queen may backtrack actually that good probably. Yeah, I think they would backtrack and go down, not up. If you're suing out there, you could just start the RC at a at 10, and then sue at 11, super wall break in. That way, you're going directly into the multi, and the queen should target the scatter. Yeah, that might be better. If you can get both sueys down before you start the Lalo, I really like that idea. Has is the other Seth Lalo guy, so you probably have to do it. Do you like that? I, mean, or? I think, like, dragons were. I mean, it could work because, um, like, the pathing is really nice to just go in the core and then, like, for the bats, it's pretty easy. Like, it's gonna be a YouTube from, like, it might. Okay, okay. It 230 might. and. Would you like it dead, rather? Hmm. I can do Zap Lala too. Do that if you want. No, it's up to you. You prefer. Um, we need somebody to go first. Uh, Nick, you have a plan on nine? Ziggy wants to go. Ziggy wants to go first? Okay. I can go too. Can you repeat the Zap Lala real quick? Yes, uh, just like the... Seven? Yeah, actually, he's not on Nine voice seven, yet yeah. for some reason. Uh, yeah, but he is in the war. RC at 10 o'clock, probably with a nice golem to get the I'll be back in one AD on the inside. Hopefully Tesla's, because they're probably there. Do King on the DE storage to walk up. Probably bring something to funnel at 12, just like a Yeti, a wizard. And then do a super wall break into the multi. Queen behind, so she walks in. The queen should aggro the... your queen to pull her down. Why, the why don't you do RC, RC at uh, the Warden Tower? and flip that because you don't get the scatter i'm not sure if you're gonna get the scatter to be honest the enemy queen will aggro your queen in she like, basically no chance she doesn't the enemy queen only aggroes if you go for the scatter right yep if you only go for the scatter that's the only one enemy is going to aggro your queen no, she'll target the queen because she'll be standing closer than the scatter. Okay. Your king should walk up. He shouldn't get in range of the queen. Hmm. Okay. But what if, if you do, do the triple there and then it's time for the score. The There's about 80 minutes left. 80 Boy, minutes copy. left. Any <laughs> yeah. Um. One minute. Do you really think the blimp is needed because the loons are going to go there anyway? Uh, they only go there if you send them there. There's going to be nothing but the town hall in the center. And like that wizard tower, but if the town hall's down, they just keep going around. No, like, you can you can do the blimp. Sorry, I meant sneaky gobs. The sneaky gobs are important because the, the town is going to activate and... Or are you thinking about like warden early and then blimp? Like a uh, warden to blimp when the loons are not even near the town hall? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then he's no? Okay, okay. Nope. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, Tom, go, go. Good luck. Yeah, move. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Good luck, you, you got it. Okay, if you, you want me to go, I can. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
Oh, they moved voice chat so you can spot them in German. Ooh, are, are they now sleeping together? <laughs> what? Oh, they're, they're That's the yeah. general name where they're at now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're in the voice chat room called Sleep Anonymous. <laughs> yeah, so they're sleeping together. Uh, I don't know what you understood. <laughs> here we go. First attack of the war. Tom's in on base number five here. You're sharing that. Coming in with an early Yeti bomb with a rage build, pulls the CC as well, gets the Inferno Tower down. Uh, Nick, done. by the way, uh, so there's going to be loon drops from like 9 o'clock. And then. The queen here. Because RC is not going to take out that Inferno, right? So I need something yep. there. And then I'll drop the Warden from like 6, like kind of like 6.30, like 7, 7 basically, where I drop my main loon. And there, that's where I'm going to drop them. Queen's going to walk oh, up, gonna and I think he's going to wall break into like the one, single target yeah. Inferno. Don't get any sweepers. That's what it looks like here. Still hasn't had to drop any rages on the queen, which is nice. <clears throat> is queen gonna have to backtrack for that bomb tower? That's the only thing I'm concerned about. She steps up for the bomb tower and goes to the right. Perfect pathing path so far. Where's the wall break gonna happen? He needs to drop the wall breaker on the cannon. There he goes. Perfect. Rage spell as well. Oh, the wall breaker got killed by the. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. The wallbreaker got killed by the scatter shot. Please go inside, Queen. She doesn't. Oh no. Damn it. Let's see if he can recover here. Finds a couple of Teslas on the top side. Looks like he's just gonna hybrid into the town hall, see how much percent he can get. That's so unfortunate the wallbreaker got wrecked by that scatter shot. Queen dies to the enemy queen. The healers go down as well. Road champion behind the hybrid. Early heal. That queen's doing a lot of damage here. He's got a headhunter to try and help. Town hall gets activated. We're almost at 50%. Actually, the town hall doesn't get activated. Hold up. There, finally gets activated. Are his troops going to get hit by the gigabomb, though? They might. They take a lot of damage. There goes his last heal in the core and the last freeze. I'm not sure how much percent he's going to get from this. Still has the Road Champ ability, which will definitely help a little bit. King on the outside as well, but not super amazing percent here. Unfortunate that the Wall Breaker failed. The plan was looking so solid here for Tom. So damn, that one's going to be a fail for us to start off the war. A root okay. Wall Break. What happened, Nine? Nice try, Tom. going to zap the CC and Eagle Expo Archer Tower. Do RC at like 5 on the mortar, and then do the King below her to walk down and around. Who's attack so far? Wall that was break. the first attack. Either on the cannon or archer tower, I don't know. And queen for the town hall. And what I don't know if I'm where yet. Were you just talking about your plan? Yep. You wanna say the the Actually, summary version that. again real quick? Yeah, zap the CC and Eagle, and then to the Town Hall, Lalo. Oh, you okay. save the Grumble, or what do you save? Yeah, you can get save all four. Both, yeah. So, the left or right side, the three. Um, that's a good question. I actually might swap it to the left side that way, because I think I can get the RC to get more in front of the Sweeper. Oh, that base is a low win, actually. To see yeah. Now. yeah, yeah, the RC should get a lot. Um, you probably want to Lalo from the left side just so you can fight the Roa champ before you fight the king. It'll just make it easier to kill her. Yep. Probably copy that base. <laughs> Here we go. Juan from that Nova, Nova is in. On, so coming in with the Zap down. Lalo on Eve check space. Let's see if Juan can get it done. Ice Golem here freezes the single target Inferno. Okay, Roa champ in as well. It'd be easy. Gonna have to pop her ability, he does. Looks like he's trying to sue me for the town hall here. Gonna be able to get the scatter shot and the town hall. Let's see, does Queen go in? I think she does. She'll be getting the scatter shot, then the town hall, so nice sui so far. Let's see if he can make the Lalo work. He only has a level 3 stone slammer instead of a max one for some reason. Not sure why. 
But here he goes, starting with the Lalo on the top side of the base. Warden in, Hounds in, everybody moving in. There's a ground bow there that's not going to do much in the core. Road champ here. She's going to start picking off some pups. Yep, that's a trip up. Freeze the road champ, haste the loons The only in. thing that worries me is uh, if my king runs into like three Teslas and ground skelly with the warden on him. Good and giant the bomb. warden ability here. And the multi is going to be there so barbs won't do much. Yep, there goes the warden ability. Pups and dragon will kill the enemy RC. What does he have to fight Why the enemy queen? Worry? Nothing. Because the king is going to die and... He's not like funneling for the queen or anything, so it doesn't really matter. Warden goes down. Queen's still alive. Hold up. There's a chance to steal. He dies him. early. I'm not sure if the king, queen is, like queen is gonna get real value. But... Oh, oh good go. I come know, on, maybe queen. I was thinking. I was thinking if. Come on, queen. One extra ice golem, but it's gonna be too much. Oh, yeah, the pups are gonna kill her. Yes, easy defense. You have a. Oh. You get a. Hound, it's a defense. Uh, limp, so you could <laughs> he tiled. Two rounds. Tiled. Oh, yeah, wow, he did nothing to kill the enemy queen, and because of that, it's a defense. Nice G. Nice try to Juan. That one's going to be a defense. Okay. Nine calls. Next yeah, hit. told you it's a defense. Uh, <laughs> who, who's going to attack? I got it. Okay, in two minutes. Twelve, yeah. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, so let's go quickly through the basis who attacks which. Okay, Nick called nine. TDH called ten. Jan is on two. Anyone else favors any base? We can uh, always give the worst base to Maxi because he's not on voice, so... I can... <laughs> I can probably do that Queen Church hybrid <laughs> on number one. Okay, yeah. You can call that. So then... What is three again? Three was the Queen Judge from 11, Queen Judge hybrid. Anyone fancy that? Mm. Okay, lovely. Gazun <coughs> you. Yeah. Number four is a Sep hybrid. Anyone fancy that? <laughs> nice. Lovely. Yeah, good I don't time. mind the Sep hybrid. That looks good. I okay. can do a three. Nicholas, okay, lovely. Okay, Elliot so on three. Elliot three, nice. Nicholas four. Nice. Number six. Oh, could do the mess yeah, if no one wants to do it, but. If someone else wants to do it. Has do you want to do number seven? Yeah, I'll do okay. it. Number eight, Dix. Basically, one of those. Uh, Sugi? Tom? Yeah. Yeah. Can you say the plan number eight again? By the way, I think, Nick, you have to go in. Yeah, I've been knocked on the Um, You can set the um, export. Um, um, Scatter. Scatter and the air defense. This is a tournament? Yeah, it is here. Right? In the high, yeah, in the town hall and the hybrid okay, yeah. from 8. Okay, yeah. I look at it again after Ig attacks. Good luck, Nick. Good luck. Here we go with our next attack. Good luck. Let's see if Nick can get the triple with the Lalo. Zapping everything in the core, nicely done. High school and road champ to fun on the left side. Sui for the town hall. Hopefully that ice golem can freeze the inferno. No, he doesn't. Damn it. Can she get the sweeper with her ability, please? Oh, he decides to freeze. Yes, he got the sweeper. That's really good. Lord some ground skellies there. They're gonna get to six now. I think I got my queen. We're good. Come on, queen, go for the town hall. Go for the town hall. He got the sweeper on the left side, which means he can start the lolo from the left. It's going to be really nice. No queen. You better you have to funnel right. more. Funnel with the minion at the left side. Nice, she went back. Oh. Oof. <laughs> wow, that queen. Definitely. All right, here we go with the lolo on the left side. Queen's queen. going to get the backside ID as well. Yep. Oh, the RC and the Queen are going to get stuck on the Lava Hounds. Or actually, it's going to pop those, so that's okay. Pop the Warden ability for these Headhunters, please. No, his Headhunters died. 
Ah, oh, shit. Heroes Maybe freeze back. the two heroes, the two enemy heroes, so the oh, dragon I can... I had already heard this guy. Ah, if he would have used the headhunters later with the warden ability. Oh, queen still left. Yeah. Nice, should be good. I got it. Yeah, the dragon sure. killed the enemy heroes. Yes! That's cool. It's looking good. Dragon more spotted on enemy queen. Battery about to die. Yeah. Nicely done with the What's dragon there. Kills the enemy heroes and it's going to be a triple for Tribe everyone. Gaming. Nice. <laughs> Nick OP. GG. Yo. Nick OP. For number 8 we didn't talk about that. Does anyone have like good idea for that? Besides the Zep hybrid? Ooh. Hang on. <sighs> Quest. Nice triple Would you do like a blimp as well, Tom? For the Zep hybrid there? For the single inferno? Nee, it's got a defeat for him in the kingdom. Do you think the queen will get the town hall there? Yeah, he has, he has, two, he has two freezes and rage. My iPad's gonna die. Okay. Nick needs a nerf, dude. Nick's OP. Also, what sagst du? Denkst du, du kriegst es? Do you think that's or... English. Look at the Cyp Hybrid and 8. Uh, okay. Oh, what's the plan? Zep scatter expo AD. Either side, let the queen walk down the town hall. What? You probably don't even have the wall break in there. You can load the Z with two hawks or three hawks there, the cannon. Then Hybrid on the top side. You think the queen will get the town hall there? Here we go, JC's in with a uh, Queen Church Hybrid, it looks like, or a Zap um. Hybrid. I mean, it's risky. It kind of depends on the timing of the clan card, though. Yeah. And if they are... Ah, uh, Tesla. I mean, if they are Tesla behind the mortar, it's... quite a challenge to get everything out. You can... you can zap low this. How's that going? You, you can do... you can... So, I was thinking 9 zaps for the scatter. So what you can do, I don't know if the oh, RC can take out that scatter, that's why I'm saying 9 yeah. zaps. But you can do like 5 zaps on the air expo on top of the CC, and the list tower together. And then you can do other 2 zaps for the CC on the left, and then other 2 zaps on the sweeper, scatter, and the ground expo. And then you can quake the scatter and the CC, and then... You can do RC from like uh, 2 o'clock on the Archer Tower to the mortar, and then you pop RC ability on the cannon. Um, it goes from the like cannon to the cannon to the uh, air defense, then to the what's that scattered, and it takes it down. And then you can sweep the town hall there, and then you you basically have to lolo like like what small minor base, doing? and then oh my gosh. you don't need many spells for that. You can just warden through the basic basic things. There's only one scatter and the eagle wow. left. I don't know if you guys are watching, but that was the best skelly trap I've ever seen. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, <laughs> that was intentional, by the way. Oh yeah, it's who knew <laughs> how they were gonna charge. Jeez. All the miners. <laughs> <laughs> if you test right. base. Denny, is, it sounds kind of insane, but I think that could work on that because like he has so much. How many things in core? What to do. I could do the step hawk, but I know Maxi often does mass hawks, so I could do the mm -hmm. step hybrid maybe instead. Probably give him the step hawk attack. It's gonna be a defense because that skelly trap pulled the, all his miners. I can do the step hybrid. Nice defense by yeah. Itsu. Yeah. The best the plan you have is not skelly bad, trap ever. It's also very. I mean, it's not that risky because, like, you're not doing any anything. Like, you can do sneaky gods for funneling of the heroes. And you don't even need super war breakers. Looks like he's gonna get it's about like next. 84. The only thing is left is not much. That's uh, why I was taking that. Nice. I don't know. Is anyone ready to take? Mm, I guess I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clock. At a minute f or an hour, four minute. Okay. If you want, I can take number eight. To be honest, like I don't, I don't, I don't hate that. Like uh, it's. Uh, Oh, then we give Maxi the other base. 
Yeah, we like uh, number seven is pretty solid for the attack. We plan on like the Zap Lola is good. I probably I probably do eight. So Maxi can do the Zap mess hook stuff. Or do you think seven won't work? What the Sui Lola? Yeah. The Zap Lola? No, I have the army prepared for it, but okay. I'm thinking if, that, if that's okay. Okay, okay you uh, you can take it. All right. Quickly take Maxi. Is Tribe in qualifiers? Not in the one that's going on this weekend, Brandella, but we did qualify for the September one. And on number seven, uh, Nick. Is somebody yep. attacking? Nobody's attacking. You're good. Yeah, that's attacking. Yes, I will. I think I can. Uh, I should. Uh, I should zap the motor on the left of the scatter. Like five zaps there, and then two on the sweeper. I don't need to damage the withdrawer. My kills yes. are gonna go there anyway. Yep. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, Itsu like is in with the zap hybrid. Let's see if he can get it done. He is going to zap the CC and the expos. So no need to bring a poison spell on this one. Let's see if it works out. Why don't we ever see carbon in wars? I invited him to play in this one, Paul, but he, I think, went to sleep because he casted the wars this morning. Tesla? Did we get yeah, that's oh yeah, the barrack, the barrack is up here. I think the queen may go down. No. No. Uh, nice. Zip. Oh. Oh, that Tesla. The RC. Damn it. Queen. Oh, she goes inside. Reese. Yeah, I did already. Nice. He still has a siege barracks to try and save this. Shide coming in with a 45 viewer host. What's up, Shide? Welcome Can't to the stream, everybody. Yeah, I think we're dying unfortunate now. Oh, Where's man. She? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She will. yeah. Mara Jade coming in with a tier 1 sub. Thank you. Hybrid coming in from the top side for Itsu here. He's out of spells, but he still has the warden ability that he needs to pop soon. Pop it, pop it, pop it. There he goes, warden ability. Queen's gonna die to the enemy queen over here, which is unfortunate. That scattershot eagle in the core staying up. I think it's gonna be a defense. If he had one more heal, this probably could have been wrecked. Scattershot is annoying. Yeah. Damn, yeah, if that scatter was down, this is still a triple. Yeah, actually, if that scatter was down, it would have been a triple. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this still a triple? Max knows RIP. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, I think RC, RC is going to get it. <laughs> wow, it's going to be a triple. Nice job. Nice oh, adjustment. Of course it is. Oh, oh my goodness, gosh. Exactly how he planned it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how he planned it. <laughs> Yes, exactly in the same way how I play my defense as well. This is how you <laughs> Nice attack, it's a cool. GG dude. Did. He got it. DK coming in with the 36 viewer host as well. Oh, Thank you, DK. Thank uh, welcome I everybody. Welcome. Sleep during that attack. <laughs> oh man. God damn it. Lex, you're kidding me with those DVD streams. <laughs> you wake Did up you too early, huh? Yeah. We're gonna do it again when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but not tomorrow. No, and tomorrow I have to skip. Oh. After that, I'm then refreshed again for the week. But <laughs> is Maxi in the war actually? <laughs> yeah, he is right. Uh, he should yes, be. He is. Okay, because I'm, I'm taking him right now, saying he should look on Discord. Okay. Then I thought, is he even? Nick playing on mobile. We'll next. Um, everybody plays on mobile. Black. But if you mean like on a phone, yeah, he plays on a phone. Wait, right now. I don't know. No. Oh, okay. 
Uh, Tom? How long yeah. has TDH been in Tribe? Which side uh, is better? The top side that, or the bottom side? Not that long, like, is actually. Is it better to face the Royal Champ early or the BK early? Uh, on the other side, it was the CC now, right? Or? On the other side? Top side, yeah. Okay, yeah. Top side is CC closer. Um, who wants or? to attack next for us? I'll, I'll attack. Okay, Hus will go in at... I think it's 56. Yep. Here we go. Elliot on defense. Let's see if we can get another defense. Yeah, TDH has been in Tribe for just a couple weeks now. He's one of our newest recruits. Oh, nice. He splits the zap. All right, they're oh, coming they're in with the zap, space. Lalo. Nice MCES base. Let's see if Elliot can get the defense. Ice Golem, King, Road Champ. Why did he wall break there? Interesting wall break. He brought his legend army. <laughs> he wanted to make sure that his Road Champ is getting the AD. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I'm still gonna crush it. Yeah, the Zed was crazy. Yeah. I've hit this base the exact same time, a lot. Wait, there's there's two way. sweepers oh, wow. in the court. What are you talking about? But it's Green. nice that he's not gonna get the enemy Royal Champion League. Yep. Oh, he lolloed from the right later. Let's see if it's he can get, make the lolo work. Okay, let's see if Hass is calling as good at, as Eve check is doing. <laughs> Never. Man, these scatter shots, multis, sweepers in the core are gonna hurt him a lot. Is that tornado trap still or something? That would be really clutch now. Can it? One loon is targeted by this. It's got a. Ah, uh, rip. Uh oh. It's those ah, two headhunters. Megan Royal Champion would be annoying. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, and the loons are not splitting right now. Is it a hush call? Oh, oh, there's no red bomb. Oh, there's one red bomb by the bomb tower. I see. The wizard tower is gonna. Yeah, that's the defense. Wow, yeah. nice. We got another defense. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, that wizard tower is destroying him. Boom, look at all those loons getting wrecked by that wizard tower. Wow. Okay, Nick called that it's crashed already. OP base being from Elliot, never end up. Yeah. Nice defense for us. Everyone's playing for the base and he's just chilling there. <laughs> Nice defense. Okay, if you can lalo, it crushes. <laughs> Oof. Rude. That's mean. Came from the wrong side too. That's his fault. I mean, it's still better than my lalo, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I would have started at three o'clock. <laughs> you hit my base in Legends okay, League. Nice, eight, guys. Is it better to charge the? If I charge the Town Hall, is it better to charge the King first and then the Royal Champ, or the other way around? Other way around. The Royal Champ first. Alright guys, so there you have it, the first half of this 10v10 war. Uh, sorry to break it up like this, but I really don't want the videos to be longer than an hour, so part two will be coming out tomorrow, or if you're seeing this after a day when the first part came out, it's already out. Uh, go check it out on my channel, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know what you think about the series, about the 10v10 wars. Guys, if you want to see these wars live, make sure you follow me on Twitch and on Trovo, where you can see me stream the wars live and talk to me in person. So that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you're thinking down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.